They found human remains in a wooded area behind an East Dubuque home, the home where missing teenager Cheyenne Kircher had lived. Cheyenne was 14 when she disappeared in October 2011. At the time, she reportedly left a note that said she was running away from home. But then on Wednesday, police arrested Cheyenne's stepfather, 40-year-old Terry Abbas, for her murder. He's now in the Joe Davies County Jail on two counts of murder. The search for the teenager's body focused on a wooded area behind the home in East Dubuque where her mother and stepfather live. Investigators will not say, though, that the remains they found are Cheyenne's. They're waiting for an autopsy that will take place on Monday. KCRG TV 9's Katie Wiedemann joins us live tonight from East Dubuque. And Katie, you were able to talk about all this today with the East Dubuque police chief. Mm -hmm. Well, investigators here have been looking for answers for two days, but East Dubuque Police Chief Steve O'Connell has been searching for Cheyenne for two years. And today he told me a big change happened when other investigators got involved. Just as soon as Cheyenne Kircher disappeared in 2011, her teachers and friends helped spread the word. It seems like sometimes kids slip through the crack and we want to make sure that the whole community knew, the whole tri-state area knew that we're still looking for Cheyenne. No. At the time, police said evidence led them to believe Cheyenne ran away from home, like her handwritten note had indicated. We weren't investigating the family for anything. We were using them as a tool, a resource. In the immediate days after she vanished, investigators used a canine unit to search the area behind the family's home. O'Connell says the dogs did find her scent in the yard. All we knew is that they were tracking her. We believe that they were tracking her, but the dogs can't tell us how old that track is. Then in March 2013, Joe Davies County developed a new investigative team. Cheyenne's case became their number one priority. My request that they do a case review is what it was. Bring all your investigators in together, review what we've done, see if we've missed anything. O'Connell won't say exactly what that team discovered that led them to the arrest, but says he hopes Cheyenne gets the justice she deserves. You know, she's a unique girl. She's a, a different personality. Uh, a unique personality. Um, I liked Cheyenne. I talked to her a lot. Now, police tell us Abbas could face additional charges, but he says he doesn't think that anyone else in Cheyenne's family will face any charges. Meanwhile, here in East Dubuque, the marquee on the library sign says, always remember Cheyenne, a true testament that people in this community are trying to piece things together. Live in East Dubuque, Katie Wiedemann, KCRG TV9.